of where I keep my quail. As you can see from the rabbit sign, it's where I used to keep my rabbits. And before that, it housed the dogs. So it's gone through its transitions for sure. Things that I did to reinforce it for the quail so that our neighborhood rats could not make it into the coop was I purchased half inch um, vinyl coated galvanized hardware cloth from critterfence.com um, and I zip tied it to the entire outside of the kennel, all of the walls as well as the roof to fill all the gaps between the pipes we bought schedule 80 pvc and zip tied it as well on the perimeter of the coop if you can see because of the glare um, i laid down more hardware cloth this is one inch square hardware cloth um, or welded wire I guess and I think I it's either 12 inch or 14 inch skirt around the whole perimeter and I um, put rocks and landscape staples down to keep, keep it there I haven't had any problems with rats trying to dig in or gain access and I've had the quail in here for oh, maybe a year and a half or so Okay, so I, I currently have 21 birds in here. I have adults and a bunch of, I think they're four weeks old now. Hang on, closing the door is not a one-handed job. All right, you can see the fencing a little better from this side. When I had my rabbits in here, they lived in the hanging cages here. I had more cages. I had um, two stories of them. And uh, the flooring for this kennel, when we had the dogs in here, we used a three quarter inch drainage rock, which I don't know if you can see it, but it's, it's that stuff on the outside of the kennel. And then when we got the rabbits, we put 7 16th minus shale down and over the years of sweeping, it's compacted down um, really, really hard. And in most spots, you can see kind of how it looks. Um, even though the quail have three dust baths in here, they do still like to kick up um, whenever they find a little gap. So I end up sticking cobblestones in those spots for now until I figure out how to oh fix the floor in here you know if, if I was gonna build this kennel outright for the quail to begin with I would definitely have poured a concrete slab uh, it would have been much easier but we make do the uh, if you can kind of see on the floor I can kind of have a, a thin layer of of sand it makes it really easy to sweep and uh, it helps with drying up their poop pretty quickly. This is basically what it looks like after I've been able to sweep it. So, um, don't have many flies and there's no smell. The sand mix that I make for the dust baths and uh, the light coating on the floor as well as the pans. I've brought this stuff in to show you. So this is just like an all-purpose sand. They say to steer away from the playground sand because it's so fine, you know, like powdered sugar fine and dusty. So uh, this stuff, I think I got it from Home Depot or Ace or some somewhere like that. Um, I use a little bit of diatomaceous earth in the sand mix. 
this stuff is the food grade, so it was more expensive. I got it from Amazon, but I've also used the um, the stuff from Home Depot that you get in like the the ant repellent section. It's much cheaper, and I've found that it works just as well. The only difference that I could figure out um, with the diatomaceous earth food grade versus the insect repellent was just that the food grade stuff is uh, mined from areas that that have been more thoroughly tested for human consumption stuff so like I said the the birds I haven't noticed any any difference so I personally I wouldn't um, purchase that again I would just go with the seven dollar Home Depot bag um, this is barn lime I get it at tractor supply for five or six dollars I just put a little bit of that in uh, maybe like two cups um, this is called Sweet Pea Z, and it's a horse stall refresher, um, and it costs ten dollars for twenty-five pounds. I put maybe a couple cups of that in with the sand. I'll show you what it looks like. It's real granular, um, and uh, it really helps with uh, ammonia or odors, and uh, and it helps just just drying out the droppings really fast. So this is what my mix ends up looking like. I don't necessarily measure it out precisely with all the, the stuff I put in it, but um, the diatomaceous earth makes it quite dusty, which quail like, right? So who cares? Um, Oh, so about my, my cages here, like I said, they were for the rabbits to begin with. All of my supplies pretty much were for the rabbits. And I still have my rabbits, but I transitioned them to a colony setting outside because they, they enjoy that more and it's easier for me and I don't have to worry about the heat with them in here. So these pans normally go under the cage and what I did was I took the face off of the cage slid the pan inside and put the, the, the face back on with J-clips. Um, I've had quail in here before. When I had the hatchlings, I transitioned them outside when they were two and a half weeks old. I put a heat lamp, rested it on top of there for the first week, and then moved them into the adult group. And how I did that was I set up an X-pin in here and uh, put the youngsters in there for the day and then at night at about 11 p.m. I came out opened the door and in the morning everybody was getting along just fine I think it uh, really helps that they have such a large area so that the dominant ones when they do end up chasing off the uh, submissive or the young ones they have a chance to get away so I haven't had any injuries in here which makes it really nice uh, what else? I can't think of anything else. If anyone has questions, feel free to message me. Um, oh, so when we set this up for the rabbits, it gets pretty hot here in the summer. I mean, not crazy hot, but it gets in the mid-90s, and rabbits really can't handle stuff over the mid-80s. So in the summer, I install a fan up there, and... Uh, we installed a mister system that's on a timer, it's on an irrigation timer that can go as short as like 30 second intervals and it makes it, it made it nice for the rabbits but I still worried about them um, when I was gone because like what if the power goes out or, or whatever you know but the quail seem fine um, I haven't had to to do anything for them in here so far, um, it's been in the mid-90s this week. Luckily, it cools off in the evening and we get a nice breeze through. So, they all seem pretty happy and I'm happy with it. I enjoy them out here and, uh, I mean, it's pretty low stress for them and it's easy for me to clean. It takes about 10 minutes every other day. And, uh, I'm going to be adding more birds. Hopefully, I'll get a nice hatch in about a week. So like I said, message me if anybody has any questions. Um, can't remember if I mentioned 
that when I sweep, I sift with this reptile scoop that I got off of Amazon. So I can send someone the link if they're interested in where to get that.